rejoice Danmachi fans for the few that's left around seeking Danmachi reactions on YouTube. I know we're five seasons deep and there's not much people, but hey, I'm here to farm it. And even if it does bad, I'll complete season five because I just love Danmachi as a series. Right now, I think something hilarious is going to happen because Bell is now being kidnapped and going to be trained. Based on the trailers we saw, I remember Bell being forced to like have a bouquet of flowers. I mean, like, delivering the bouquet of flowers. Like, come on. 20 reps of proper, like, flower delivery. 20 reps of, like, dating exercises. It's looking like it's gonna be so much fun slice of life stuff happening before we get to the serious stuff. What else was really important last episode? Basically, Seer is... She's a goddess. She says she wants to break the shackles of goddesshood. But to me, it looks like she's just a random bar tavern girl. But could it be... I mean, a lot of other people just have they just exist in Oradio in like you know their humanoid forms right Freya's down here too a lot of people are down here does that mean Seer is also like a secret goddess that we never knew about but why is it then Seer and Freya share such a such a intimate bond they seem like Freya's people respect Seer a lot and Seer and Freya they, they, they share definitely some sort of respect between the two maybe if Freya is like supposed to be like the goddess of fertility Seer is something to be like close to that in terms of like um whatever mythology we're talking about in lore wise freya and Sira, what the goddesses represent they're supposed to be close and friendly i'm not really sure let's begin today's reaction <laughs> classic demon lord shit bro we just need a crackle of lightning happening bro freya just looking like a demon lord <laughs> Everyone has feelings for Belle. If she fails, then she can't go for Belle. Ma'am, yours. The ultimate simp, bro. Everybody simps so hard for Freya here. But Freya will never treat them like Belle. Seer, what are you? Alright, Master Training is today's episode. Heading Serando. The blonde elf. Dude, it's such a menacing aura, but I feel like heading is such a funny character, man. He's so serious, but it's like, yes, the tea is exquisite. I know the owner. Pretty menacing, man. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, what's the connection? Give me the secrets. Let me, give me the plot. <laughs> It doesn't matter. Okay. <laughs> Weep with joy. Bask in her glory. You should be grateful that you're going on a date with Seer. Holy shit, relax. But they really respect Seer almost as much as Freya. Why? Yeah, or die. Perish. Uh, that's it? <laughs> that's... We're forever just... You know that's not gonna happen, bro. Seer's gonna get replaced in season 6, bro. Like, come on. You know every, we're recycling through, girl. Then I die. I feel like he could. I don't think anyone's strong enough to contest him. He just outlevels us. Maybe if Bell got serious, he could beat him, yeah. Yeah, I mean, with Haruhime buff, Bell could beat him, but like, this guy is really strong. Heading is no joke. <laughs> Even if she gets shit on it? <laughs> There's someone who I'm already in love with, and that person is Ice, right? Ice has been Bell's love, but we've been going on a long, long detour. Who knows what Ice is doing right now? I know that I have to watch a separate like OV or kind of movie to understand what Ice has been up to past couple seasons, but this is Ice. <laughs> Hairbrain. Hairbrain. Because we're rabbit's foot. He calling us rabbit brain right now. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> what if I thirsted for Freya though, huh? Forget any feelings you have for other girls. Don't even daydream about them. What if I daydream about Freya? Would would Hedin be mad if I treated Freya higher than Seer? Okay. Okay. It's not that serious. You're gonna teach me how to go on a date? 
Boot camp time. Boot camp went ahead to become the master of dates. <laughs> or kidnapped. Haruhime, chill. Everyone else is worried. Oh no, does something happen to Belle Haruhime immediately? It's another love letter, isn't it? <laughs> For the safety of our family. <laughs> He's not gonna help there. <laughs> For the sake of my family, I'm going on a date with Seer. <laughs> Please help. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, head in. Are we learning how to walk? Practice speaking. Talk. Yap. This is gonna be so good. He's just updating boot camp. He's teaching us how to walk. He's teaching us how to fucking speak. What? We're studying. <laughs> yes, Hedin-san, talk louder. Yes, Hedin-san, you're too loud. Jesus Christ, there's nothing we can do to fucking appease Hedin, bro. Hedin is a literal Asian parent. Like, there's nothing you can do to make him happy. Jesus, bro, he's a sadist. What is a hair brain? A hair, rabbit. You are rabbit's foot. It's a slur, bro. You are a literal subhuman with a rabbit's brain. That's what he's calling you. He <laughs> <laughs> is so aggro. His personality is just full sadist. Yeah, this scene, this scene. This is the funniest scene from the trailer for me. He's just doing 20 reps. 20 reps of rip out the bouquet. 20 rips of I love you. 20 rips of would you like to go on a date with me? Okay, wait, 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 what? Oh, no. The amount you spend on them is the quickest and easiest way to show your sincerity. Hedin, that's a terrible advice. Hedin, that's such a misogynistic advice. Onna are expensive. They're just a bunch of gold diggers. And the more money you spend on them, the more they realize how sincere you are. No, no, no. The more you spend on them, the more they realize how they can manipulate you and fucking far more money out of you. Hey, Hedin san. Hey, Yes, sir. What? Master? It's no longer heading son, it's master now. He liked that, but he still hit us at the end. What's the difference? Like, I say master, you appreciate it, he still smacks the shit out of us. He made us fucking clean up after this place. What part of cleaning up here is help? Dude, we're just doing chores. He's not teaching us how to be better at dates. He's literally just using Bill to clean up the fucking chores that he has to do. What the fuck? I just realized. Oh no. He knows he's hot now. Oh no, there is. I mean, if th this, th like, because Bell never acts like this, every girl falls for him, right? But now he's acting like an Ikemen, like a pretty boy. I are the girls gonna like this at all? <laughs> they do love it. Nah, they love it because of the clout. They love it because of the clout, bro. Yeah. Imagine if our family saw this shit, bro. Imagine if Hestia, Haruhime, every one of them saw this shit, bro. Holy fuck. <laughs> look at the look that she has on her face. <laughs> I love how the monsters that we're killing are also rabbits, man. Bunch of rabbits. <laughs> okay. Dude, he's so good. They don't find it cringe. They love the whole, like, pretty boy act. Holy shit. Was that headed? <laughs> Don't go around seducing women. You... Wait, what do you 
want head in? I'm trying my best here to be cool. Alright, dedication and service. No seducing. Oh, I want to see your smile. I want to see your smile. His voice actor is so good. His voice actor is so fucking good. Head in lightning strikes him down. How dare you try to seduce this woman? You must be all servitude. Now repeat after me. I want to see your smile. I want to see your smile louder. Yeah. Right now he sounds like Better the Goose. He does. Better the Goose right there. He even said death at the end. Alright. Oh, okay. Sandwich. Okay. 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 With the lady? With the cat? Wait, 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 what? You're gonna persuade the next lady you come across? It's any lady. A any lady that shows up. Alright, kid. Alright, let's go. Oh, fuck. This is so funny. Yes, sir. Alright. Good luck. Cassandra's gonna show up! Cassandra date? She wants it. Don't give me a heart burn. Talking like an old man. Yo. Let's go get the sandwich. There it is. Let's look at the sandwich. Damn, dude, look at the layers in this shit. Holy fuck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight separate fucking layers? Oh my, and you glazed it on top of that with more fruits and- Oh my god, this will give you heartburn. You gonna get fucking diabetes. Uh, Daphne, third wheeling. You gotta feed each other though. You gotta feed it to each other. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> he's so good now, he's ready. <laughs> Eddie is making Belle into a monster, bro. Because, like, Belle is, like, you know, he's just good looking. And people were already just, just, like, folding for Belle, even though he had, like, no, like, actual, like, intentional riz. But now he knows how to, like, fucking intentionally erase. Like, look at this. Look, look what he's saying. This is where I highlight my childlike side by eagerly stuffing my cheeks while taking care to leave a clean impression. Holy fuck, this is dangerous. <laughs> childlike impression. Come on, come on. Cassandra, what do you think? Uh, she wants to feed it? She wants to feed it now. This is the goal. Hedin's look. Hedin's like, you better take this shit, or I'm gonna kill you and your entire fucking family. Oh. Oh. <laughs> What's Daphne thinking right now? What is Daphne actually thinking? Right? I think she's getting cooked right now, right? Oh. What's the aftercare? What is Master Hedin's aftercare? What are we gonna do? Are we gonna like wipe her like mouth? You got a little bit of sauce on you. What are we gonna do? <laughs> of course. Of course it's the fucking cream wipe. The most cliche shit ever. <laughs> you gotta eat it though. You gotta eat it though. After you wipe it. You, you gotta, you gotta lick it. You, you gotta eat it yourself. <gasps> ah! This is the most peak Damachi has been for me. This episode is fucking crazy, bro. This is the funniest slice of life rom-com. Holy shit. <laughs> Her prophecy. Her prophecy. <laughs> Hedin, do we pass? Hedin, that wasn't good enough? Ryu. If only Ryu knew what the hell Bell was up to, bro. Bell is getting pimped out by Hedin to be the ultimate playboy. She's just blank staring. Mamma mia. Bro. 
the one thing. Oh, just imagine Mamma Mia and Belle hang out. Dude, I just imagine if this, the, the whole like uh, hyper sandwich shit was Mamma Mia showing up with Belle. Bro, that would be the funniest thing if Belle raises up her. Seer. No. Is she reading between the lines? Hmm? Are we talking about Freya family right now? Dude, what level is she? Does anyone know what level Mamma Mia is? I'm gonna Google this right now. I need to know. I, I, I need to know this shit. Dan Machi Mamma Mia level. Six. <laughs> She's level six. <laughs> She's also a dwarf. Her race is a dwarf. I didn't know. She's a dwarf? She's pretty tall. For a dwarf, level six dwarf. <laughs> Mamma mia, lower goes fucking crazy, bro. Operational. These cat puns are so stupid, but I love it. <laughs> Scapegoats. Looking like the cat girls are gonna get in on the whole, you know, dating experience too. Seeds, huh? Yeah, the seeds are definitely sprouting. Which, which fertility goddess is this? Oh my God. Is this Demetrius or some shit? Like, I'm thinking like fertility, Demeter, Demeter, right? Demeter is supposed to be like the goddess of like harvest, like crops. Fertility has a lot of meanings. When I think fertility, I'm thinking like baby make it, right? That's why I immediately thought like Aphrodite, Freya, even like Ishtar, right? Basically the horny goddesses, but then there was also like bountiful crops, right? What is this? Got a mask on. Hello. This is the number one though. This is it for me. Freya is on a different league. Dude, her ass is so pointy here though. <laughs> this, the, 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 the ass over here, very curvy. A little bit too curvy. Harvest Festival, let's go. So they literally just, the goddesses now, they just sit there for the entire duration of the Harvest Festival. <laughs> While everyone just like walks around and stares at them? What is it? Bell. He's so ready for this. Dating is harder than dungeons, guys. Five hours? Five hours early? Seer. Oh. All white. Damn. Yeah, Hedin made me wear it. She likes it? Oh, this is exactly what Seer likes? Well, Hedin probably definitely knows that. That was ready. That was all or orchestrated. That was all, like, rehearsed. Oh, oh. What? <laughs> he had that in the back of his eyes, bro. He's like walking, walking, walking. After five more strides, I shall tactically stop and compliment Seer about her outfits. Master Hedin, are you watching me? Yep, here it is. The presence of mind. Oh my god, this guy. This guy, bro. <laughs> well, <laughs> wait, Estia family has to not work in Mamma Mia's tavern? Estia has to work. The goddess has to do the fucking dishes. 
scapegoats. Yeah, scapegoats. Now they can go out. It's actually kind of sad if you think about, like, the goddess of fertility right now are all being celebrated. There's a huge festival happening. They're all worshipping them. But our goddess is just doing fucking dishes <laughs> in the tavern. Let's go. Uh-oh. Mama, you're gonna fuck Hestia up. Bye bye. They're gonna go all check up on Bell. <laughs> bye. Pestia is so, so pitiful, bro. She always gets left behind. She always never gets to, you know, get Bell. All the other girls are just pushing this task on to, to run off to go see Bell. This is sad for Hestia. Wah, wah. Crepes. No, these are croquettes. Uh, Oh. Oh, feeding each other. <laughs> Give some to her. Here it is. <laughs> she was startled by how upfront he was. Grabbed her hand and fed himself. He didn't taught that. Um. <laughs> Yeah, we're heading at. Is he watching? Mmm, hand holding. Oh, poor Ryu, go back home. Also, crepe. This is it. This is it. The sandwiches are kind of close, but it wasn't crepe like. This is actually crepes. Big crepe propaganda. The Japanese government and the anime industry are colluding. Yup, they are. The crepe industry must succeed they always show you crepes as the default food that they share on date episodes this is an inside job also ryu stop watching this go back home I if i was ryu i would never hang out here and watch the date bro this is too much i would go i'll go fucking do dishes with hestia mm -hmm. expert poor ryu <laughs> okay head is watching Alright. What does she truly want? Oh, oh, the Freya family. There was some interesting dialogue here. Can you make her realize what it is that she truly wants? Make her realize. As in, Seer herself doesn't even know what she truly wants. I thought that Seer just wanted Bill. But Seer also mentions the breaking of the goddess shacklehood, right? What is it that she truly wants? To be no longer a goddess and just hang out with Belle and just be a normal person? I'm assuming that she's some sort of goddess. What's going on, wolf guy? <laughs> he was monologuing out loud. Yeah, Hidden doesn't need to say that shit out loud. He could have just thought it internally. <laughs> He's just straight up just monologuing on top of a roof. Other escorts. Who are, who are these? Is this all Freya family? Helpers of Freya family? Who are these two? Which goddess though? Seer or Freya? That was slick. I... I, I... Oh, I, I, I thought that he was covering this chipped wood. But I'm like, there's still chipped wood over here, but no, it's just like a place for her booty. Doesn't matter. Oh. What a gentleman. CGI. It looked good, though. Oh. <laughs> it's backfiring. I thought that she might like it, because it's so... Her preference. But this is not the Belle that Seer fell in love with. That Belle does not act the way that Hedden wants Belle to act. It makes sense. I almost got that fly. Or escape my close. I'll get him. I'll get him. Yeah. Yeah, we're too good. Yeah. So you want a guy that never thinks about you but only thinks about the dungeon and it sucks at dates? Is that what you want? No, very happy. But it's weirding her out. 
she wanted to take the lead. She wanted to be the driver, but right now, she is in the passenger seat. Blame Hedin. Hedin ruined this. <laughs> Opens her mouth again. Oh, hey. Crepes again. Crepes again. This guy, Hermes, bro. He knows some endgame shit. I remember season two. Talking about the Black Dragon, Zeus, some sort of last hero for Bell. What's Hermes up to? Also, big crepe. Big crepe. Looks like they're on a date. Which one is this girl? They're always together. Is she also a goddess? What is she about? Also, who is Hermes' family? Is Hermes just alone? Again, like season one content, I just completely have forgotten. Asfi. Asfi is captain of Hermes' family. Got it, got it. So she is a member of Hermes' family. How many members are there for Hermes' familia? Is there a lot of members? Or is it just like Asfi? I don't really remember much about these two other than Hermes has some endgame plot lore. And Asfi always like corrects Hermes and he's always trying to hit on her. And he's, she's supposed to be like a cool like secretary. <laughs> he says in problematic because he knows about Freya's affection for Sir, uh, Bell, right? <laughs> Where's Freya at? <laughs> Powers of fertility. Let's give some offerings to Freya. Who was the fifth? Was it Ishtar? Please tell me that the fifth goddess of fertility was Ishtar and Freya basically <laughs> that killed her. And now she's only four goddesses now. That's one of my favorite moments in Damachi. That was so Fucking cold, the sidestep, the slap, oh! She's start fighting immediately? They, they start throwing hands? I would love to see that. Please marry me. I wonder what Frey is thinking. She's probably looking at them like monkeys. Ants. All of your ants. Influence the ants. Brainwash the ants. You are the ant. <laughs> hey. That, that's their bro. Oh. <laughs> that, that's there, bro. oh. Valenstans, whatever her name is. Ice! Ice has finally showed up! Ice is just eating. She's just chilling. And she would never get jealous, would she? Would she get jealous? Can you, can you make the connections? Is she smart enough to figure it out? Oh, Seer, you demon. Ice is so cute. She's such an airhead. I don't think she can really make the connections in her head right now. Maybe it's still going. Maybe, maybe the buffering is still going in her head right now, but she's just eating. She's eating really fast. Holy shit, she's eating fast. Darling! Darling. I don't think she cares that much. Hestia. Tavern clothes. I'm doing dishes. She just breaking shit. You're fired. Good googly moogly, Hestia. Mm -hmm. She's trying to figure it out, and she's just eating. <laughs> Steal some food. I forgot that she eats so much, bro. It's her entire bag. What the fuck? How many of these, like, deep fried, like, croquets does she have? That huh right there? I felt like... That hurt her more. Hestia stealing her food there hurt her more than Belle on a date with Seer as Ice is still trying to figure it out in her head. It's like, are, are they on a date? Are, are they? What does this mean? Mm. I need to keep eating. I need to keep eating. You make her jealous. <laughs> Darling, though. <sighs> the Sword Princess is the love of her life, though. He said it in today's episode. 
She is the one. Master. Oh, head in. Uh oh. Bell, you're a terrible liar. One dream. A kiss. Kidnapped. So these were other like Freya soldiers. I never saw them as like important characters. Like, like some of them, remember the, around the round table, there's some significant characters, but there are still like foot soldiers here. But Seer wants us to kidnap so that she can be herself. What is herself, truly? She's supposed to be a goddess, right? Let's kidnap the prince. Yeah, you'll let us off the hook, but the Freya family would not. They would start attacking us. I don't know if we want to do that. She's almost like a caged bird, can't do anything. She wants freedom. And that's today's episode of Danmachi. Huh. Today's episode was probably one of the funniest episodes of Danmachi. This is peak slice of life rom com. This is genuinely peak slice of life rom com. The trailer hyping up, you know, Belle doing 10 reps of like delivering the Boku flowers. This episode fucking delivered. Everything was so, so funny. But amongst the funny moment, there's some seriousness, right? And the seriousness has to do with Seer's background. There's also there's also a lot of time where they really show like Seer's earring a lot. I'm not sure if it matters at all, but they constantly kind of show her earrings here. Is the earring supposed to be some sort of like symbolism of like Seer living a double life? I'm not sure. Maybe I'm reaching right now, but Seer is seemingly living a double life. She works as a regular tavern girl, but somehow the Freya family is always looking out for her as if he's like an important relative or like a family member of Freya's. Shackles of goddesshood implies that Seer probably is a goddess, but nothing has been really confirmed yet. And she wants us to kidnap her. But if I do that, I don't think Freya family gonna be too happy about that. What does Freya want at the end of the day? Freya probably wants Seer to slip and the secret to come out because their bet is if Belle finds out your true identity, you're done. And then Freya is basically gonna just take Belle. Things are getting very interesting. Hestia and Ice are also in fray. They're not off the game just yet. The stage is set. Next episode, it's gonna get interesting. If we do take her, where are we gonna go? Only one way to find out. And that's it for me. If you're still here though, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.